Today we're looking at the heavyweight amongst Europe's breads, the German Graubrot. It's a 2.5 kilo loaf packed with nutritious whole grains, a family staple that also tells us a great deal about the German soul. I'm Georg Mattes and I'm a European correspondent, but I also love to bake. So here's some food for thought from Germany. This recipe starts with something we Germans love to do, recycling. If you want to bake the German Graubrot, meaning literally gray bread, take 60 grams of old stale bread, grind it in a meat mincer and soak it in 150 milliliters of water overnight. Und deshalb wird's wohl eine Weile dauern, das sehe ich voraus. Herzlichen Dank. Meanwhile, prepare your sourdough. Mix 20 grams of sourdough starter and 130 milliliters of water with 80 grams of rye flour and leave it to stand, covering it with a tea towel. And now for something very close to German people's hearts. Das Auto. No, not the car. Autolyse is what I'm talking about. It's a technique whereby you gently mix 780 grams of brown bread flour with 500 milliliters of water, then leave it all to rest. It saves you kneading time. And let me tell you, Germans love to save. The Graubrot is the heavyweight amongst Europe's loaves. Germany is not only the richest member state in the EU, it's also the one that has the biggest population. And this bread is just as rich. It contains three separate doughs, 390 grams of rye flour, 60 milliliters of water, 15 grams of fresh yeast, 20 grams of honey, and 15 grams of butter. Oh, not to forget, 25 grams of salt. And no less. Mess with German tradition at your peril. A lesson learned by Brussels. The Commission is not prohibiting any bread and has no intention to regulate the salt level in bread, neither in Germany nor elsewhere in the EU. But one thing you can regulate is your blood pressure. Not with less salt, but more exercise. You have to knead the dough now for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Das dauert eine Weile. Gut Ding will Weile haben. Then let it prove and use the time to ponder the quiet rise of my compatriot, Ursula von der Leyen, to the EU's top job. All of us in this room live in a Europe that has grown up, matured and grown strong. Right from the start, von der Leyen put her stamp on the EU institutions and just as well. If you press this German bread stamp into the dough too late, it will collapse. So to stay in control in politics, as in baking, you need razor-sharp instincts. And when it comes to dealing with crises in the EU, no one has more experience than Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor. So let's carve in her signature gesture, the triangle of power. Now place the bread in the oven at 210 degrees Celsius for about an hour. Ja, das war es im Grunde, was wir die vielen Stunden betrieben haben. If you have any leftovers, don't worry. All you need is a meat mincer and a fresh German Graubrot is on its way. Thanks for watching and if you're hungry for more bread recipes, click here.